Thomas Williams Jr., Edwin Rodriguez at stake. A shot at the light heavyweight champion of the world this summer, Adonis Stevenson. Let's go back to Gus Johnson. All right, thank you very much, Brian. Very interesting fight between Edwin Rodriguez and Thomas Top Dog Williams as we take a look at the tail of the tape and champ what jumps out at you. I see the reach advantage goes to Rodriguez, but mostly everything else is even. I think this is a great matchup, an even matchup, and I'm looking forward to this fight. You know, there's something worth mentioning about Thomas Williams Jr. His father was a fighter, a talented heavyweight, and the only American ever to go to jail for taking a dive. Williams was a kid at the time. Still, he went into the family business, even took his father's nickname, Top Dog. Now he's 28, with kids of his own, and he's fighting for more than a shot at Adonis Stevenson. He's fighting for an idea that the sins of the father should not be visited upon the son. That's right, Thomas Williams retired in 2004 with a 28-17 record, 19 knockouts. Now let's go inside the ring for the introductions. Live on Fox from StubHub Center, Premier Boxing Champions now features 10 rounds in the light heavyweight division. The three judges ringside arm, Carla Caiz, Ray Corona and Fernando Villarreal. And the referee in charge when the bell sounds, Wayne Hedgepath. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black and the orange. His professional record, 19 wins. 13 of those coming by way of knockout against one loss. Fighting out of Laurel, Maryland. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Thomas Top Dog Williams. Junior. Across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the red, silver, and blue. As a professional, 28 wins, 19 of those coming by way of KO against one defeat. Fighting out of Worcester, Massachusetts, by way of the Dominican Republic. He is the former title challenger, Edwin La Bomba Rodriguez. Thomas Williams coming off a second round TKO against Humberto Savinia in Biloxi as well. Round one, 175 pound light heavyweights. This one could be electric, just like our first fight of the evening. Danny hit on something before. Rodriguez has a, a four inch reach advantage. His trainer Ronnie Shields told me, as long as he keeps his distance, he'll be okay. Both fighters coming out with thunder, aiming big shots right here near the ropes. Rodriguez wants to come forward. He will turn 31 years old five days from today. Big uppercut landing right hand, connecting for top dog, William. Both fighters loading up, big. Rodriguez predicted this would go three or four rounds. Williams said, if not sooner. I don't think it's a good idea to come out in the first round and load up with big shots because both fighters are real strong. You want to go in there and set your opponent up. You don't want to go in there throwing bombs and get hit with a big shot in exchange in the first round. I understand, but that's what these guys are. They're hitters. That's why they're here. No doubt. There's a big can being right hand by Williams. Rodriguez going to the body. Williams is a converted southpaw as well, just like Lara we saw in the previous fight. Sometimes he gets so eager to throw, he squares up. He lunges in a little bit, gives away his distance, gets hit. Rodriguez with only one loss in his career to Andre Ward, a decision back in 2013. Had trouble making 168, so moved up to 175. He's been very successful at 175. No problem with the weight. Each fighter exchanging big shots of right hand. And that hurt Rodriguez by Williams. Both of these guys are throwing those big shots make themselves vulnerable. Exactly what I was saying. That's, you know, a smart fighter doesn't come out throwing bombs in the first round, but this is what the fans want to see. They want to see a knockout, and both fighters understand that, and they want to go in there and show the crowd what they can do. Great crowd here at the Step Up Center in Dale, California. Now Rodriguez will tie up Thomas Williams. Scheduled for 10 rounds. Here's another right hand by Williams. As he moves in now and serves as the aggressor against Rodriguez. Williams landing the big right hook, stepping in with his guard up. Rodriguez has to be careful with that counter right hook. 
That's Left the hand pushed through by Williams. Backs up Rodriguez. Rodriguez a little hurt right here. Rodriguez is not doing what Ronnie Shields said, which was to control the distance. Williams has been fighting since he was five years old. Father took him to the gym. He feels like he is destined to be a world champion. Thomas Williams landing some big shots in the first round, and he's from the Washington, D.C. area, training out of Laurel, Maryland. He wants to be one of the great fighters that has come out of D.C. William Joppy, Keith Holmes, Mark Sharp Johnson, Sean Bay Mitchell, obviously Simon Brown and Sugar Ray Leonard, Lamont Peterson as well. Round two, scheduled for 10. Thomas Williams in the multicolored trunks and Edwin Rodriguez in the red, white, and blue. I noticed in the first round, both fighters landed big punches, but Rodriguez seemed to get hurt the more out of both of them. Williams taking the, the bigger shots a little better than Rodriguez as him now. Rodriguez can throw the right hand at various angles. Defensively, however, he can drop that right hand and make some volume. You see it slip down. Good body shot by Rodriguez. I think Williams' punches are a little effective because they're a little shorter and more crispy. Williams dropping that right hand. He has to be careful. Both these fighters very aggressive in the early rounds. They understand what's on the line. A possible shot at the 175-pound world championship. The winner of this fight will get an opportunity. Both fighters trying to look impressive. They really want to be world champions. They're trying to impress the crowd and all the viewers around the world and show them that they can fight. That right hand right got hand. through. Another right hand for Rodriguez. And Williams is hurt. Wow. He but smiles. Oh, big right hand, left hand by Williams as he counters. Rodriguez was able to do that. He controlled the distance and put him on the end of that straight right hand. He controlled a variety of right hands. Williams very wide with his punches. Now Rodriguez. Both fighters throwing bombs. Left hand for Rodriguez. Both fighters looking winded here. I can tell you one thing, this ain't going to the distance. <laughs> right hand to the body by Rodriguez. He goes downstairs again, measuring. There's that right hand again. Wild punches by Williams. He could get caught with something tragic. He's open as he throws those shots. He's a little hurt. I think he's finding a little bit of instincts right now, more than skill. You see that right hand, Rodriguez throws it coming up. Straight, he can throw it coming down too. Another straight right. Twenty-eight seconds remaining in the second round. Scheduled for ten in the light heavyweight division. Edwin Rodriguez in the red, white, and blue has come on strong here in the second round. Thomas Williams trying to gather himself. Clear his head after taking some huge shots. Into the second round, straight left hand. A right hand. Oh, oh. oh. Sends Rodriguez down. Right. And he may not get up. Oh. Thomas oh. Williams. Six. What a Seven. shot. And Four it's minutes. over. Oh. Top dog will oh. fight for a world <laughs> championship. He said he told us. <laughs> he and said he it was his destiny. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 2 minutes 59 seconds of the second round for your winner by knockout, Thomas Top Dog, Williams Jr.